And for reading comp, like, is there anything that I can do there that you found helps you with that? Well, like you're already you're already taking fewer notes, which is good. I'd keep it very minimal, just summarizing the author's uh, the author's primary opinion, their main the main idea, summarizing that in a couple of words on the scratch paper to the side. And if there are a couple of viewpoints, you might write a few words summarizing each of those. But I would leave it at that. Yeah. So it's so weird with reading comprehension because sometimes I'm like so like I feel like I'm so on it and I flow through the questions like easily and sometimes it's just like really really bad not good timing at all and I just like can't get my focus to match the question but I guess that's like always going to happen yeah it's normal but there are a couple of things you can do one of them would be to try and caricature or exaggerate the different viewpoints in the passage to make them a little more interesting maybe and also a little bit simpler so I'll, I'll yeah. think about it as if I were explaining it to a five-year-old or seven-year-old and saying like, this is good and bad or old versus new or incomplete versus more, relatively more complete, something like that. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.